Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon to you. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, y'all. So, I am back. Married to Medicine, Season 10, Episode 11. This is... Called Not Phaedra's Type. And I already know they're going to be trying to set her up because... How the wives do single women in this group, they treat them as a project. And like our good sis squad, when she decided to not be a project, they was like, oh, well, we don't have anything for you. If I can't fix you, if I can't hook you up, if I can't make you who I want you to be as a single woman around this group, you're out of here. So... We'll see how this goes with Phaedra because Phaedra is not someone that's easily persuaded either. So we shall see. So we start out with Toya and Eugene and Eugene um, told Toya to meet him at this flower shop. So he was like, instead of me buying you flowers, why don't we make an arrangement so I can get to know what flowers you like now? Because over time we evolve, you may grow up liking sunflowers and then you may get older and like tulips. So I think it was very smart instead of getting her the wrong flowers, come on up here and pick out the flowers you want and I charge it. And next time I know to come get that same arrangement. Y'all go ahead and write down everything that, she, that she's ordering. Cause I'm gonna need the same exact arrangement every month or every week or how often he gets her flowers. Boom. Men are simple. So if you give them the blueprint, or if you help them cheat on the test, then you ain't gotta worry about them failing. Just saying. Sometimes you can't leave it up to them to guess everything. Cause they just not gonna get it right. You can't even send them to the grocery store and they come back with everything you asked for. So I think this was very smart. Good job, Dr. Good job. I told you, you better be I'm grateful. Okay, Toya. So she told us in the confessionals that she actually took in what Simone said. She doesn't want Dr. Eugene to believe that she's hard to please. So she's calming down a little bit. All right. Growth. That's what we're talking about. And not just the plants. We need you to grow too, baby. And it looked like you're doing a good job so far. Good job, Toya. So Dr. Damon had a networking event at the Cigar Club, same one they went to last time when Kimo was talking about men need to rise up against their women and put them in their place and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so the place is packed, honey, okay? Dr. Damon did his way. What y'all say? Big one? Oh, he did. Um, Heavenly is dressed in this sequins ballerina tutu type dress and all the other girls are hating i think heavenly looks good now was it a dress for this event probably not but does she look good in the dress damn good stop hating stop hating and this came from dr Ooh. simone who's there in some army fatigue pants and everybody around you has on suits and business jackets so So, girl, get your own attire together before you come for hers. But, um, Phaedra, she says she's single ready to mingle, honey. And she says a lot of fine chocolate men who's in her tax bracket, by the way, in this party. So, when I said giddy up, she came in here ready. The guy who helped her at the steps was looking good, honey. So, oh, my God, how you doing that, daddy? You know how we get that happy? I'm like, oh, I'm gonna give a fuck. Can I hug? Yeah, she did one of them. Mm -hmm. And I don't blame her because I'm single and ready to mingle too. So you catch me at an event like that. <laughs> I'll be doing the same thing. Oh my God, how y'all doing? That's the same Hey, how you doing? Take my number down. What's your Instagram? 
<laughs> I'm gonna practice that. Having to call Phaedra up on stage, child, to auction her off, talking about she need a man who single men out there. And some of them was actually bold enough to walk up there and be like, Lord, I'll take out, I'll take out. Who needs enemies when you have friends like Heavenly? Girl, don't put nobody on the spot like that. Don't do that no more. Don't do that no more. If she asks for it, then set her up on a couple of dates. Don't just take it upon yourself to do that. Come on now. Don't be worrisome. You being worrisome in the first 17 minutes of this goddamn show. You being worrisome. You being worrisome, Heavenly. Don't piss me off this episode, okay? Don't piss me off. I hate when people do that. Don't try to set nobody up. Stop trying to be matchmaker. That lady will find somebody when she's ready to find him or when the Lord is ready to give him to her. And it ain't going to be because of Dr. Heavenly, the relationship expert. Fix the relationship with your sister since you're a relationship expert. Yeah, I said it. What you gonna do about it? Okay, so they, Toya and Simone decided to bring up what Kima said at the c cigar lounge last week and brought it up to his wife, Felicia. I don't know what they thought this lady was gonna do other than to um, defend her man and her marriage as she should. Um, she was basically like, did he, did he say it like that? That they ain't no balls and stuff? Well, this is an ongoing conversation in my household because I was raised by a single parent, so I'm very independent. So it's an ongoing conversation that we're having. Basically, I already know what he probably done said. Look, we we talked about it at home. So Toya was like, mm. he seemed like a difficult man. Your husband seemed like a difficult man to take care of. Who business is that? Yours or hers? It's her husband and the father of her kids. But do you know what Dr. Alicia said? She said he's very opinionated like you. And said it with a smile on her face. And Toya Sinan. Toya Sinan. Yeah. She might not say it like this, but I'm going to say it. Yeah, she talking to you. Now, don't go, don't go analyzing other people's marriages. Let's not do that. Because when somebody get on yours, then you want to exile them from the show. Toya, you want to have me working my nerves this episode. And I'm still under the half hour mark. So Simone brings to the ladies that. It's been 10 years. It's their 10 year group anniversary. So they're taking a couple's trip to Hilton Head, South Carolina. Heavenly said, Jackie said. So to refresh our memory for those who have not been watching it, Jackie found out her husband was cheating a few years ago through TMZ in Hilton Head, South Carolina. So you think she wanna go back there? Like that's, that's opening up no wound. It's opening up a wound. Now, whether you're over it, that does not mean you want to go through it again. That does not mean you want to be reminded of it. I might be over something somebody did to me, but that don't mean it ain't triggering when I'm seeing similar behavior. Like, come on now. You got to know that's how it works. Some stuff you just leave well enough alone. And some don't know that. She know that. Piss me off. So Jackie brought up the Hilton Head conversation with Curtis. And um, he's like, no, it, no point in going back there. We've been down that road many times. And Jackie's like, well, you know, I don't want to go to a place that would trigger me and set us back. But I do want to go and spend time with these ladies. 
So she's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place for real, for real. But that ain't what I came up here to talk to you about. Because that was a conversation that was supposed to happen anyway. That's My girlfriends want to go to a spot where you was caught cheating at. So... <laughs> I just had to talk to my nephew right quick. What did I say? Shut up and be quiet! I forgot my point, but... Oh, this was I, this what I came to ask y'all about before he started pissing me off. Curtis, why you can't run back and forth to the DR? Does anybody know? Can somebody tell us? Because that man is always in the DR. Is there a secret business that you're working on that we can't, that y'all ain't ready to tell the word about? Because it's giving convenience, it's giving a whole nother situation in the DR. Then you got your, your laptop pressed up against you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm getting ready for my next trip to the DR. Laptop this close to you. She can't even see what you're doing. Somebody need to look into that. What's going on in the DR? What's going on, Curtis? We want to know. And you better make this couple's trip if she got to go to the same damn place. You ought to be there to support her. But Simone, saying that you already booked for that city... Knowing the type of money y'all got, knowing you got time. Now, maybe you can't get all the money back, but come on now. Why that place out of all places? Now, you say it won't done malicious, but I believe that I remember every single man that has wronged my best friend i might don't remember years i might don't remember specific dates but i know his face i know his name and i know what he did simple as that it doesn't go away it was as if it was done to me too that's the type of information you hold on to with your friends. Because you went there. You went through it with them. They cried to you. They confided in you. So for you to forget. Sounds kind of far-fetched. Now did you want to make TV happen? Possibly. Did you want to hurt your friend in the process? Maybe not. Maybe not. But do I believe that you forgot? Not at all. Let's move on. How you doing? All right, so we are at Phaedra's son birthday party. He turned 13 and she dropped a big 70K on that birthday party, okay? And it looks it and they're having fun. Um, Toya, once again, putting her mouth on stuff. Get your mouth off that. Get your mouth off that like sometimes i just want to take her hand and just pop it shut up shut up sometime you over here at this table talking to heavenly about why the baby father is not at the birthday party you don't know what's going on with them you don't know if they on paperwork if he gotta stay 50 feet you don't know what's going on get your mouth off that Talking about, oh, if he's a good father, then he should be here. Who cares about his prison record? You don't know if that's the only reason he's not there. Or if that is even a reason at all. Toya, shut up. Shut up sometimes. Because it'd be unnecessary. It'd be unnecessary. When I'm at something for somebody, I'm not worried about why other people aren't there. That's messy. That's not your business. God. Oh, she be pissing me off. She be pissing me off. She be pissing me off. And I can't wait to get to the reunion to see who rips her a new booty hole. I can't wait. I can't wait. 
Having to ask Simone, what made you pick Hilton Head? She's talking about it went with everybody's schedule. It was a place that's not too far. Okay. There's a few other places. Heavenly is putting that pressure on Simone, okay? She pulled both of them to the table, all to the side from the kids' party. And she's asking Simone, Simone, ask your friend if she ever going to Hilton Head, South Carolina. So, Dr. Jackie said, my husband doesn't want to go. We don't want to open up that can of worms. We're doing good. And... Heavenly said, Simone, I need you to own something. Do you think it was a good idea? And Simone says, I was not thinking. Heavenly said, thank you. Thank you. Simone said, Jackie, you better get your bulldog. You better tear her pipe down. Y'all know y'all not about to do nothing. But it needs to be said, Simone. It needs to be said. I'm sorry. When you was looking up Hilton Head, South Carolina, and what to do, the article didn't pop up for you. Like, in your mind. Not necessarily on the internet, because years have passed, but in your mind. Like, you wasn't able to put two and two together? Hmm. <sighs> Let's see how this conversation goes, because I think it's going to go off like this. But, let's see. Fergus said, I can't believe that these women are fighting at a kitty party. But Dr. Heavenly Heavenly would take any opportunity to fight. She will fight at the pearly gates of Jesus fit to fight with her. <laughs> now if you're fighting in the line to go to heaven, you you deserve for that man to turn you every which way but loose. You deserve it. Because why are you fighting in heaven? Why are you fighting trying to get to heaven? <sighs> now they just both yelling and spinning in each other's face in this Atlanta heat. Let it go. Let it go. Simone, you was wrong. Except, uh, you might don't want to hear it from Heavenly because how she delivering it, but Heavenly is a real friend. Now, if my friend is not able to speak for herself or she's choked up or she's emotional, yes, yeah, she can handle herself. She can handle her own situations, but you can't stop me from being a friend when I want to be a friend in that moment. So if I want to get your ass all the way together on, on behalf of my friend, I'm going to do that. Whether she asked me to do it or not. She might have asked me not to do it. But we'll deal with that later. Me and her had that conversation later. But right here, right now, I'm going to get you together on behalf of her because you're wrong. You're wrong. And then you talk about, oh, I've known her for 20 years. Well, then you should have known that she wouldn't have been okay with that. 20 years is enough time for you to know your best friend like the back of your hand. You should know what she like, what she don't like, what she cool with, what she ain't cool with. When somebody trying her, whether she's reserved, whether she going to buck. When is your time to tag a man? You should know all of that about your friend of 20 years. And you damn sure should know where her husband cheated on her at. You should know that. And you should know that was not a good idea. Hmm, trying to make drama for the show is crazy, Dr. Simone. That's crazy. Well, y'all, next week... Well, I ain't gonna say next week because these have already aired. I'm behind. Next episode, crazy. They're gonna finally make it to the trip. It looks like Jackie and Curtis will be there. And it's gonna be a lot of cussing and fussing. What they didn't want. And why can't y'all just have a successful trip? Why I gotta be bickering back and forth? And then the husbands gotta decide if they gonna get involved or not. Because sometimes they do have to get involved just to try to hush their wife up. Because we know it's very, very iffy when you go to say, hey man, can you, can you calm your wife down? Because now that's a whole nother problem. So they got to pick and choose what battles to be a part of, what to sit out, when to interject, when to interrupt, like, yeah, well, at least next episode don't look boring. This wasn't too boring. It was just outlandish because I can't believe that Simone would actually do that to her best friend. But, hey, 
I ain't gonna do it to mine. I wouldn't do it to mine. I wouldn't do it to anybody. I'm not trying to bring anybody back to a place that damn near broke them. I'm not, I'm not built like that. To intentionally hurt a friend, someone I call a friend. <sighs> Anyways, thank y'all so much for recapping Merit and Medicine season 10, episode 11, Phaedra's type or choice or whatever it was called. It was about Phaedra finding a man pretty much. Phaedra finding a man and Phaedra this birthday party. And we kind of trailed off the end with the trip. So the next episode will be all about the trip. So that should be interesting to recap. I'm gonna have to recap that with some wine, honey. Whew, but uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of the family. Make sure you like, commenting, and subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you are following me on all of my social media platforms. That goes for Instagram, Extra Large, and Extra Large with two Gs. That is my backup page on Instagram. TikTok is Extra Large Sweet Tea. Twitter is Large.Extra. And you know where to find me on the other stuff, all right? Excuse me. Love y'all so much, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.